It is anticipated that the 2024 Ford Ranger will be offered in the United States with a longer bed than the current truck. On the one hand, the Super Crew outsells the Super Cab by a significant margin, but on the other hand, many potential customers are turned off by the length of the bed. It would appear that the higher-ups in Dearborn have made the executive decision to lengthen the wheelbase and the box of the Super Crew for the 2024 model year. This is because they do not want to risk losing any more consumers to competitors in the same market sector. In recent days, investigators from Automotive News spotted a prototype being put through its paces in Dearborn, which is located in the state of Michigan. The North American version of the Ranger, which shares its platform with the Bronco, is an entirely separate beast from the global Ranger that is produced in South Africa and Thailand. The body-on-frame utility vehicle is produced at the Ford Motor Company's Michigan assembly plant in Wayne, and it employs an improved version of the T6 vehicle architecture. The Ford Motor Company refers to this improvement as the T6.2 architecture internally. In the same vein as the topic of evolutionary developments, General Motors will very much keep doing the same thing with the Chevrolet Colorado and the GMC Canyon in the year 2023. They are both going to switch to the 31XX-2 vehicle architecture, which will replace the 31XX vehicle architecture. As part of the transition to the 31XX-2 platform, it is anticipated that the largest of Detroit's big three automakers will eliminate all three of its existing engine options in favor of a four-cylinder turbo. To be more specific, the 2.7-liter mill found in the Silverado 1500 is more than capable of meeting the needs of the vehicle because it generates 310 horsepower at 5,600 revolutions per minute and 430 pound-feet newton-meters) of torque at 3,000 revolutions per minute. No diesel, but how about an electric vehicle instead? We could see Ford putting one of these engines in the 2024 Ranger most likely the 2.7 and then offering a hybrid powertrain as the base engine option. Since the Ford Bronco offers both the 2.3-liter and 2.7-liter EcoBoost engines as options, and since the Raptor and Bronco have the same underpinnings, we could see Ford putting one of these engines in the 2024 Ranger. That is exactly what it did with Maverick, and as a result, it has seen an incredible amount of success. However, in order for Ford to use the same 2.5-liter hybrid powertrain that it installed in the Maverick, either the engine or the electric motor would require a power boost. This is due to the fact that the hybrid system in the compact truck delivers 191 horsepower, while the base powertrain in the current Ranger delivers 270 horsepower. Although we believe that the 2024 Ford Ranger will be offered with a hybrid powertrain, the biggest open question is whether or not Ford will produce a Lightning version of the Ranger. It would make a lot of sense, especially in light of the fact that the F-150 Lightning is now selling out very quickly. Especially considering that a mid-size pickup truck that runs on electricity would be a lot more attractive to the truck crowd because it would have lower towing and payload capacity and, as a result, fewer concerns regarding its range. The clincher for the 2024 Ford Ranger, if you will. The new Ford midsize truck is on its way, but it won't arrive quite as fast as we had hoped it would. The product will most likely be introduced sometime in the early part of 2023, with production beginning sometime in the middle of that same year. The 2019 Ford Ranger was already late in its life cycle when it came to the US market. It had been on the global market since 2011. So by the time we got our hands on it, it appeared old and had the sensation of being old as well. 